Hi friends, log on to my website fastbeam.com and talk to me on the forums. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Hi guys and welcome to another vlog. I am driving this the Tesla Model S P100D and let me quickly open the hood and show you right away that there is obviously no engine over here. There's space to keep stuff here and there's a light here as well. Meanwhile, there's a windscreen washer. Wash fluid goes over there. And to close this, you have to be gentle. Just put it like this and push it down. So that's how it's done. You can see the lights look really nice, LEDs and stuff like that. And the car looks absolutely beautiful. Front parking sensors over here. And uh, these wheels are 19 inches and you can offer 20 inches, which are optional from the side. The car looks really nice. Now, you know, when you turn off the car, so that's opened the boot I and mean, when I double clicked on this button. So this is the key of the car. It's so cool. And uh, the boot is also big. So just like the Skoda Superb, it opens with the glass over here. The boot is large enough. And guess what? There's space below here as well to keep stuff. So there, I think, is the stuff for the tire and the towing hook. Doesn't get a spare wheel at all. So that's kind of cost cutting base over here. And I think this is the probably the battery or something. I'm not sure. Anyways, there's a parcel shelf over here and click this button to close the car now you can see from the side the design looks really nice it looks very elegant and the door handles are flushed inside so there is a camera over here because it has got autopilot obviously a lot of cameras all over the place now you just need to tap it twice to open the door handles and let's quickly get inside the rear door sorry the rear seat and uh, frameless doors nice finishing over here you can see the cabin looks nice there is no center armrest i don't know why the teslas don't have it floor is flat the battery is placed over here there's good amount of space but somehow under thigh support is quite lacking over here headroom is good and uh, it gets a panoramic roof in this particular car you can obviously opt for a sunroof as well now at the rear you can see the window doesn't go all the way down and uh, the glass area isn't much so yeah you can feel claustrophobic on long drives but teslas are all about driving that said uh, three people can sit here comfortably although i would have liked more space definitely so not much to talk about in the rear the headrests aren't adjustable there's a light placed over here and let's quickly get into the driver's seat so i can show you that this is the coolest thing in this car like how cool is that so these are the controls for the power windows these are the controls for the outside rear view mirrors by the way this is all lifted off from a mercedes car i don't know why even the stocks here are from a mercedes car and this gets this large 17 inch touchscreen infotainment system a lot of controls over here so it has got something called ludicrous mode and when you go into max battery power it says select max battery power to condition your battery to a high temperature where it has low basically it tells you that if you use max battery power now it's going to you know deteriorate the battery faster and that's the ludicrous plus mode then you can go into steering comfort standard or sport regenerative braking standard or low range mode and basically everything is the same as the model x only thing which is different in this particular car is the fact that you cannot open the doors they are manually opened unlike the model x where you can do it using these buttons so a lot of things over here this display is just beautiful you can also increase or decrease the ride height because it gets air suspension and automatic lowering at 100 miles per hour which is 160 kilometers per hour lighting system you can adjust over here this is the audio system let me play something for you right now the audio quality is just phenomenal so this is in fahrenheit and uh, basically you get into control large map this uses google maps good camera system over here and you can pay your phone a lot of cameras actually you can decide what camera view you want you can browse the internet so this is Tesla's own website which loads has a browser by the way and it'll tell you how much consumption is happening maps is over here audio system is over here beautiful screen like really very nice uh, get into control basically I want to always see this when I'm driving which is the driving part acceleration ludicrous <laughs> insane so this is the steering wheel of the car similar to the one on the model x so these are the controls to operate the multi-information display tell you whichever mode you are into browser this temperature fan speed blah 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 contacts and stuff like that on the left is for the audio controls and uh, you can increase the volume skip tracks and stuff like that it says p100d over there these are the stocks which have been lifted again from mercedes-benz this is for adjusting the steering reach and rake and uh, this one is uh, for the wiper Meanwhile, this is for the autopilot as well as the cruise control. Now, let me use a wiper and show you. So, the wipers work well. Dual blade wipers, obviously. On this car, auto dimming inside rear view mirror. This is very slim and it also gets a mirror here, which is kind of small and gets light here as well. The lights over here as well. You need to press them. Again, the sun visor over here. 
gets a light as well as a mirror and the dashboard design is really nice the air conditioning chills the cabin in no time the door pockets are not there at all not at the front not at the rear so forget having one liter bottles over here press this button to open the glove box which isn't large enough and there's a large place to keep stuff over here you can easily keep uh, i think half liter bottles nice design as well click it to close it and this thing also opens like this to keep stuff there's two usb plugs over here and a 12 volt charging socket as well twin cup holders over here this is to slide ahead the armrest but this doesn't open so overall the feel of the cabin is like really very premium it feels so nice the seats are extremely comfortable the front seats and the headrests are not adjustable but offers good amount of support so it will be able to detect people around yeah. and apply brakes We have a lot of traffic, I think. Now we have a lot of traffic. Let, let's get going. These guys know this mm. BMW guy might, might be wondering what's going on. He's also B electric, though. Look at his license plate. Hey, guys, doing? So we are in the Model S. This one feels more like a sports car and a sports car body. Model X, you can feel it being the sports car in an SUV's body. So for me, I like the perfection of, of how this car feels. This is a sports car, truly. So what are the cars it competes with? Hmm. At ludicrous mode, mm. acceleration, Bugatti, Chiron. Oh, it's the Model 3. Mm -hmm. So all the systems and everything is the same as the Model X? Everything, exactly the same. Here, go for it. Nice. Can you, can you tell? This is only on sport. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. Obviously, this is lighter. It's lighter, uh -huh. mm -hmm. exactly. Still, though, you can feel just generally the feeling is the feeling is more intact. Yes, it's been tuned over the course. So of So left years. or right? One lane here, but still left turn. So you can go just there, and now we'll take a left from this lane. And then there's one one uh, mode that I'd love for you to have on the on the video, mm -hmm. but we are unable to. We'll do that one for you guys. That's called the ludicrous launch sequence. So oh. there's this one extra level kind of of the ludicrous mode that we can switch to. All right. Take the left and then the right turn. I'll let you hit a one one time on ludicrous mode regular though. Slowly. Now stay slow. Don't yeah. go fast yet. Yeah. Just go straight forward. Yeah. And just lightly. I don't want you to reach top speed. I want you to just go to 40 miles per hour. But you can hit the pedal nice and hard. Go for it. Oh my goodness. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> no need to go to a high speed. Okay. It, yeah, it, now, it completely lifted off. It lifted off. I'm mm. trying to say it's mm. not a normal thing, mm -hmm. and it can very easily cause you to mm -hmm. lose control. So mm. be careful. Mm. But you can access this anytime. Go for it. <laughs> Insane. Ludicrous. Right? Insane. <laughs> so ludicrous mode is truly ludicrous. There's nothing like. There's nobody has ever <laughs> felt this kind of feeling. Yeah, in a because of the before. instantaneous talk. Yeah. It just like insane. Mm-hmm. What's the timing on this? 0 to 60 is 2.2, 2.3 seconds. That is Bugatti Chiron territory. Yes, absolutely. And this car feels much tighter to drive. Not even as fully tighter as need be. What exactly is the range mode? What does it do? It limits the... Uh, limits the AC and all mm -hmm. these other things mm -hmm. and just mm -hmm. keeps it at a mm, more minor level. It's mm -hmm. still there, but it's more minor. That's all. Go left. Yep, left. Punch it. Feel free. Instantaneous lift happens yep, yep. and it just goes. It's very responsive to it's drive. pretty crazy. It is extremely mm -hmm. responsive. It is extremely responsive. <laughs> You're in a video game. <laughs> yeah, completely. Uh -huh. <laughs> it is absolutely a video game. Now you see why the regenerative braking also is quite important because in, mm -hmm. with this braking system, mm -hmm. you can just kind of relax. It's not a big... Even if you're going at a top speed, mm -hmm. you don't have to worry too much about it. This is just my secret. <laughs> and just take a right, and then stop here, and then we'll do the our launch sequence for here. We'll switch up and do it right here. So stop it here? Yep, just stop it right here, put it in park. We'll switch up. All right. And I'll show you what the next level of even this, this software is. Because that is actually what we did was technically not the 2.3, 2.2. Right. That was going to be probably closer to 
2.3, 2.2 is achieved after you hit this, this mode and after you've also let your battery uh, heat up to the proper temperature. Mm. So all this is necessary before it can do this, like the true Bugatti Chiron or Bugatti all right. engine room. So you control. Mm. First thing you do is you click max battery power. Best for short term acceleration and performance. Yep. So mm. you just click. Now you'll hear it's telling you heating. Estimated time is 20 minutes before the car reaches the optimal potential. Next. So 20 minutes it'll get it'll take to get ready or it'll take to get ready. Yes. All right. For and this is for the launch. Now this is the next thing. Hmm. This is the ludicrous plus. Is All what right. It's known as. Are you sure you want to push the limits, causing accelerated wear of the motor gearbox battery? No, I want my mommy. Or yes, bring it on. Yes. So they have now has said instead of 20 minutes, it's now turned into 30 minutes. Hmm. If we wait 30 minutes, our hmm. car will reach maximum. Performance. Performance. Hundred percent maximum. So true launch. Now we can hear the battery. Now you can hear the battery. Either way, whenever this is pressed, mm. you can still do this thing that's called the launch sequence. So we're not gonna wait the thirty minutes. We could wait that and then that'll be zero to sixty two point two flat. All right. Best possible. Right now maybe it will be two point three, two point four. <laughs> still will be quite insane. So that's how you set it up. Mm. Now the next part is there's no handles, don't <laughs> worry. You don't need to hold on, just have your head back. That's all. all right. So now the next part is you use the pedals, press down one, hmm. touch them both, but you'll watch at the bottom of my screen here. Launch mode enabled. All right. <laughs> Insane. <laughs> So that's it. <laughs> that is the launch mode. If you wait 30, 30 minutes, uh. it will just be that, but at a maximally fully heated battery. That's the difference. So that's how you achieve speed of the Bugatti. Okay, launch mode enabled. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's like a rocket takeoff. It is exactly like a rocket takeoff. <laughs> So, what is the pricing on the Model S? Model S starting seventy four thousand. This car that we're in is base price one thirty five. And so seventy four thousand dollars is for the one which 75D. is seventy five D. Seventy five D, and you just have the seventy five D and the hundred D and the P hundred D right now. Yep. Three variants. And more, more than right now, I think that this will be will be the same as how how it will stay. It will not change probably from this. Maybe in the far future, we'll have more battery option. Mm. Don't think that it will be. And uh, the one which is coming, I think the Model Y, maybe. Uh, the sports car. Oh, the Roadster. Roadster. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, what is the battery on that? Nothing revealed yet. Two hundred kilowatt hours. Supposedly. Oh, that's double. Two hundred kilowatt hours. So it's going to be six hundred miles, six hundred and twenty mile range, and mm -hmm. zero to sixty one point nine all wheel drive, everything, everything. So that car will be one for the books if it when it comes out. So that'll be like the P two hundred D. P200D essentially is what that is. You got it. So you can imagine if this is like this, then that <laughs> one will be pretty, pretty crazy. Because that will be lighter as well. It will definitely be lighter. Smaller with a convertible. <laughs> it will be ridiculous and just as quiet. The ride quality is pretty good. It's quite smooth, right? Yeah. So what is the waiting period like on the Model S? Two to three months. Two to three months. Mm -hmm. And on the X? Same thing. So which sells more, the X or the S? Mm, oh, that's a nice car. What, sales? Yeah. In the beginning, S, of course. Hmm. Recently, uh, X has been the trend. Hmm. But I would say both are pretty equivalent. Not much one over another. Over time, they probably have equal, equaled out. And what, what is the most popular variant? The most popular variant of the battery size? Yeah. Also is no, nothing in particular. Not the P100. Mm. 75 or 100, it's not about one or the other. It's mm. about if your lifestyle is less mileage, mm -hmm. 75D. If you're doing daily business trip to New York mm -hmm. and back every day, then 100D is perfect. So it doesn't matter. Of course, price ranges are very different. Mm -hmm. So Model S 75D is maybe sixteen, eighteen thousand $18,000 difference price from the 100,000, I mean from the 100D. So. 
if you're looking to go stay under underneath 100,000, mm -hmm. then it's 75D is perfect for you. But usually the question is, how much do you drive daily? Driving daily is not much. Mm -hmm. 75D is perfect. It's the same thing for you as it would be for other people. If you're doing a daily trip every single day, the 100D is perfect for you. So that's the one. It doesn't much matter about. So everything is exactly the same exactly between the, the X same. and the S. Yeah. Everything is exactly the same X and S except for the seats, right? Mm -hmm. Five, six, or seven. Yeah. Versus this. Two, this, the the button for seats. So you cannot click a button for the doors and for mm -hmm. the seats, right? Yeah. All the doors are manual. Manual. So that's a big one. Mm -hmm. That's it. Sunroof, you can have a sunroof in this car, but you cannot have a sunroof in the Model X. Mm. This one is not a sunroof. This it's is a panoramic roof. Glass roof, yep. Mm. But you can choose to have the sunroof. So how much battery does it uh, like deteriorate with the... With the ludicrous? Yeah. More, maybe 10 to 15 miles. No, not in terms of range. In terms of it says that when you're going to ludicrous plus, that time how much wear and tear does it increase on the battery? I don't know exactly. I would or say over the course of, if you were to just keep this on and use mm. it, you would lose up to 20, 50, probably 20 miles over the course of a full battery. But I don't know exactly. I wouldn't know the exact, the exact number. And the range is the same as 300 miles on this one? The range is less on the performance than it is on the regular. On the so basically, range. when you talk about the 300 mile range, that is on the chill mode, right? No, no, no. It's on the standard. Standard. On the standard. Yep. Mm -hmm. Standard mode. And when I and for the Model S, it's actually 340. So for the 100D Model S, mm. range is up to 340 miles. And with the Model S P 100D, you're dropping it down to 315. Mm. So you're losing maybe 25 miles, uh, is what we tell you. 25 miles. Okay, because I remember seeing a chill and a standard button there. Yes. And it has a. It doesn't have a standard button here. It just has chill, chill sport. sport and sport is the same as standard. We okay. just make it sound better because ludicrous. <laughs> that's it. Sport okay. and standard is the same thing. Standard, standard, standard. All right. And uh, what about uh, slip start? What does that mean? That's traction control turning off. Traction control, exactly. Turning off, or this is what they tell you, but mm. usually this is used for people racing if they mm. if they're interested in doing so. But like even with traction control off, it's not going to slip much because of all-wheel drive. You got it. Electric all-wheel drive. And exactly. this doesn't have a Christmas mode, right? Doesn't have a Christmas mode. Yeah, it, it has this just uh, probably like Santa mode, which is like the reindeer. All right. Which you can make it just be the uh, autopilot. Your reindeer will be the cars that are around you and stuff like this. Mm. But no Christmas mode because there's no doors. So what exactly does it do in this mode? This is just a little menu, fun things. You can just, nothing, it's nothing. It's just drawing board. And All right. So the car doesn't do anything? The car does not do anything else itself. Mm. No, not, nothing mm. from this menu. This is the Rainbow Road, if you know the Mario Kart. Yeah. Rainbow Road is what turns onto your screen here when it's in autopilot. But now you get to see what Ludacris was all about. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> now, you, now you can... No, because yesterday, like, I think David was on the test drive with us. Sure. He didn't say a word about Ludacris. <laughs> so I was wondering if the car has it or not. It definitely did. <laughs> <laughs> but then my sister was driving, so she was got least bothered it. about it. Got it, got it, got it, got it. But what do you think about the Volt? Like, the Volt? Oh, yeah. I mean, only thing that I just don't like about these other electric cars is that, why would you buy the electric car if it's only going to go 70 miles? Mm. That's my only problem. Mm. Everything about it, I'm, I'm okay. Mm. The what... Tesla did better in this one is that the battery placement being mm. at the bottom mm. makes the car a lot better looking mm. than if you put it in the front or the back like a normal vehicle. Now I have already driven the car so let me tell you it drives fantastically well offers good amount of feel and feedback uh, performance is very good it's not the most agile if you compare it to a sports car because of the weight of the vehicle due to the batteries and the ride quality is on the stiffer side but it drives very well and the electric feel is just phenomenal so guys uh, the Tesla Model S is simply one of the best cars to buy if you want to go into the future right now and if you like this vlog you know what you have to do give it a thumbs up that's a like button and also subscribe to the channel this space to keep stuff here as well i'm digressing i'll see you in the next one real soon bye bye